Gotcha, bitch. What's going on guys? It's your boy Phil34. Today we are checking out Stargate Atlantis season number two, episode number 16. Uh, the last episode we were in the tower and interestingly enough, we had a duplicate of our base over at Atlantis. Again, I made some mistakes. It's like my, my, my memory has incorrect statements about the base. That being said, let's see what's going on over today. It was, it was kind of like a whimsical episode that had some pretty interesting developments. The ancients and uh, the facility and whatnot. So let's dive in and see what's going on today. Don't forget to smack the like button. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Let's get into it. Doctor, we're, we're ready to go. We'll meet you at the rendezvous site. All right, we're dealing with Caldwell, the snake. And now, over in the pee. We'll just sit and watch this box for hours at a time. Is it that engaging? It depends what's on it. There are lots of programs and dozens of channels every day, all day. And that's what everybody on your planet does for entertainment. Watch a box. Not everyone. <laughs> Proximity alarm. Something's out there. There's two of them. There's another one in lower orbit. Another what? I don't know, but... A rock meteorite? Maybe it's a coffin. Perhaps jettison from a ship? Go out go out in style? Space burial? It's kind of no, cool. No, I'm reading life signs coming from inside of both of them. Whoever's in there? It's alive? They're still alive. Okay, getting into a morbid episode. I am capital D down. Ready. I'm on my way down. Colonel Caldwell. The host of a ghoul parasite is aware of what's happening to them. I won't soon forget what I was forced to do. Still, you can't be held responsible for your actions. You did what you had to do. Lives were at stake. Mm -hmm. I would have done the same thing if the situation been reversed. Do you care to join us? I would love to. Reestablishing connection. For some reason, I thought he was going to be gone. That, that makes sense. Doctor, we are. Oh, Colonel Caldwell, welcome back. Thank you, Doctor. Colonel, what do we got? It appears to be designed solely for the purposes of maintaining a single human life in stasis. Huh. This one's a female. I've already sent Lauren and Jumper 6 to recover the second pod. Ronan and Taylor went along to help him locate it. Okay, I'm ready to crack her. We should probably be in hazmat suits, no? Just in case there's something hey. lethal in there. Or toxic. All right. She's alive. Barely. It's been 84 years! So she could be an ancient. Ah, uh, the pod design makes me doubt that. It's a shame she can't speak with us. Yeah! Listen! Gotta go to lab three, start! Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Damn, that is one way to survive. It's a bait and switch. It's like, oh wow, look at this body. It's dying. That's unfortunate. Let's go examine it. <laughs> Jumps, transfers consciousness into the person who finds him. It's pretty smart. The long goodbye. Okay, this is not my fault. There's gonna be two consciousness fighting, re rehashing the story that we had with McKay. You okay? Doctor Ware is fine. Dr. Ware doesn't talk about herself in third person. A security team to the infirmary? That's not necessary, Colonel Caldwell. She is merely harboring my consciousness. Oh, here we go again. again. <laughs> I'm Phoebus. Phoebus? We are a race of explorers. On our journey home, our vessel was attacked. By the Wraith? Yes. Then I've been adrift for some time, and the pod has determined my body is beyond resuscitation. You're quite correct. Yeah, 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 we're all very sorry. Where's Elizabeth? She is here also. And I suppose you'd like us to take your word for that? <laughs> Reboots? Dr. Weir? You seem remarkably sanguine about all of this. Well, the imprinting will only last a matter of hours. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Phoebus urgently desires to be here when we bring the other pod back to Atlantis. Why? To her partner? She believes it's her husband. Ah, the rush of emotion is it's overwhelming. Nah, nah, nah. I call red flags. This no, is this no, is cap. You can't. John, I'd like you to try. Phoebus has a favor she'd like to ask of you. Even if the body isn't capable of being revived, the survivor can still report what happened to their ship. 
rescue team could interrogate them even if they were incapable of regaining consciousness. It's a useful thing in times of war. Well, it could also be the means for two survivors to say one last goodbye. Hmm? Elizabeth wouldn't take no for an answer. Oh, love is a powerful thing, Carson. You're a hopeless romantic, you know that? So is this just a way for them to just both get like one last nut off and then die and then for for Weir and and and, and John to get together? Like that's what like my brain is telling me, but I don't know. Temporary occupant calls it. Won't last more than a few hours. Unless this dude's alive, that complicates things. He's still alive. If we're gonna do this, we should do it now. I prefer if this alien consciousness weren't armed. Right. They just start bickering for the next 35 minutes? <laughs> Give him a moment, Phelan. It's me. Phoebus? I can't tell if this is going to be a sinister well, episode the very last of our kind. or a comedic one. These generous people have allowed us to be together one last time. You consented to this. One last chance to say goodbye to my husband. This is a little too... Oh, I guess that's what we are going to do. It's not what I expected. I know this body is different, but I assure you, Sam, it's me. Is it possible for us to be alone just for a few minutes? No, we're not. Absolutely not. Colonel's right. Dr. Weir is in charge of this facility. I'm just saying there should be an armed guard just outside the door. Two guards. I'm trying to... I don't know how I feel about this. Hey! Ah! 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 Brother, don't shoot! That's Colonel Shepard! I'm sorry! I... He's not my husband, he's the enemy. Drop your weapon. Y'all got finesse. <laughs> Rodney. Security, this is Dr. Rodney McKay. Everything is okay. The Colonel Caldwell was kidding when he said what he oh, said. Oh, forget it. Attention all personnel. Colonel Shepard is not, I repeat, not who he pretends to be. If you find him, secure the area and contact me immediately. We're in for some sci-fi goodness here. Body swapping, stun guns. There was trouble. We have a medical emergency in lab three. You all right? Stunner blast, I'm fine. What happened? She was playing us from the beginning. Both Dr. Weir and Colonel Shepard are under the influence of alien entities. If at all possible, subdue and contain them with non-lethal force. There is a medical team on its way. Go. Ma'am. I'm gonna need you to hand over that weapon. Yeah, you should question why she has this random no alien choice. weapon. I guess I could just say that she's like an elite assassin or something and can handle herself. Yeah. And I guess this is a fun way to give Elizabeth to uh, act her some fun action beats. This is actually the plot for John Wick 5, Into the, into the Deep Abyss. We just lost contact with Major Lorne. All right, I want all non-essential personnel to return directly to their quarters and remain there until notified. And this is a good way to regain confidence in Caldwell as well. Traveling groups of two or more, they'll be the only individual signals traveling through the city. What are you waiting for? Uh, look, I don't want to get all uh, chain of command on you here, but um, I am a senior member of this expedition. Is it possible that because I was host to a ghoul, you don't trust me, Doctor? I didn't say that. I'm the highest ranking military officer here, and this is clearly a military situation. We don't have much time, Thalen. The imprinting is temporary. And these people are gonna try to stop us. Both want a shot at the same thing. You mean each other. <laughs> and neither one of us will get that chance if you keep running. Sir, I'm picking up some chatter I think you'll want to hear. Put it on speaker. Matter of fact, I can't wait to see that look of defeat on your face. Just one last time. That was hatred, not defeat, Phoebus. I found any way to talk to your wife. Thalen? You, you die. Well, they're headed straight for divorce. From the yeah. sound of it, we have two fighter pilots who don't know that their war is over. It is much worse than that. They know everything about this city. We just need to find a way to stop them without unduly harming the hosts. Unduly? What does that mean? Well, obviously some force may be necessary. Concussion at best. <laughs> I 
think I just located one of them near the power room. Are you kidding? Tell me you had someone guarding the power room? Two Marines from Daedalus. Hutchinson, this is Caldwell. Report. This is not Where's good. Auxiliary power? Not good at generators aren't kicking in. He or she must have damaged the backups. Lost everything? Shields, communications, long range and biometric sensors. I need for you to get down to the power room, Doctor. Restore primary systems. I should go along too. Marines could be hot. Exactly. Marines may have been injured. We can't go down. This is it. not a request, Dr. McKay. Let me know the moment you have a damage assessment. <laughs> Y'all really dropped the ball in this one. Ronan. You in there? It's me, bro. Ronan? Trust yeah. me, fam. Don't shoot or you'll ruin my entire plan. What Codwell tell you? If there are two alien entities running around, it's him and Weir. I'm the good guy here. So who got the power? I'm just trying to stay alive here. Caldwell has given the orders, and you're the only one I can trust not to shoot me on sight. Can you prove you're you? No, I can't. What would Shepard watch on TV? No, that won't work. Then why not? Because if there was an alien consciousness in my head, he'd know the answer was football. Look, just help me find her before they do. That's all I'm asking. Give me the gun. Well, the good news is the Zep PM is still intact. I see until it's operational again. I just got here. I have no idea. I appreciate the honesty. She's not here. Come on. Jesus. <sighs> oh, he got he got lit up. Plan didn't work. She got away because all I had was this stupid little thing. At least you're out of the way. You're not. Not Shepard, no. And he is screaming in my head right now like you wouldn't believe. Medical team to Southport cargo hold. Dude, he got riddled with P90 bullets, man. That's not good. He was unconscious when we found him. Bloody dark ages. <laughs> Gloves? I'm at the base of the central tower tracking Dr. Weir. Understood, I'll send reinforcements. I can handle Dr. Weir. Thank you, dear. Come on. There it is, you little bugger. Now to stop the bleeding. I feel like I'm watching a game of Valorant the way they're watching their corners. Ugh. Will you people stop getting in the way? People don't know how to fight, Beavis. That's why we're gonna win the war! This war is not over yet! You know, the ZPM would be actually a, would be a pretty nice, like, decorative house piece, you know? You got, doctor. I have report of automatic or like a nice nightmare. Of course, there they come on. Right, let's get them under a scanner and make sure I didn't miss any tissue damage. city have begun automatically sealing themselves off. Move. Oh! Guillotine. It's not letting me override. Because the moment the power came back up, she used a remote computer terminal to take control of the city. Can you invalidate her code? Maybe I could have before the lockdown, but the command's already been given. Look, somebody should have thought of that, huh? Can you hack it somehow? Override her code. You do know who you're talking to. So that's a yes? By now you're aware the city is entirely under my control. And there are several bulkhead doors between me and your nearest search team. I'm gonna I'm blow up the city. Out. Maybe I'll just send a signal to the Wraith, like you did. What do you want? I want Shepard. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you with that. Is there something else I can do for you? Don't screw with me, Caldwell. The very least I can kill Weir. 
We have three signals on two separate floors at the base of the tower. We are asked to be the one in the science lab, which leaves these other two over here. I want you to go after Shepard. You and he have been locked into the same section. He's one floor up. I will contact you as soon as I have him. Is this where you want it, Phoebus? Another stalemate? I thought you wanted to finish this. Taylor, I have Colonel Shepard. Yo, the city's looking nice. Caldwell, do you have him or not? I have found an interesting way of rerouting your new Halon fire suppression system all the way from hazmat storage to personnel quarters. So, shall we take it to the point that I start counting down from an arbitrary number? Perhaps seven. I mean, at least this is giving. There's a new security camera in the northernmost stairwell. There's some more that material to have fun with. There so that I can see him. I'm not surprised that you're the only one that managed to get to him. I would just like to state for the record that it is astounding to me that once again I find myself in the position of having to save this city. I was against this from the very beginning. Yes. Yes, you were. Thank you. Please <laughs> continue. <laughs> Put him in his place. He's regaining consciousness. Kayla. I do not believe you. Do you see what they're doing? They're pitting us against each other. You know me. Oh, please. You call that acting? Taylor? Yes. Kill him. Absolutely not. Don't listen to her. Kill him now, or I vent Halon fire suppressant into all the living spaces in Atlantis. Colonel, can she do this? Yes. She's created a shunt between the fire suppressant system and life support. How many people are at risk? Three quarters of the expedition. Why are you doing this? I have spent my entire life at war with his world. If he really is the last... But in the end, my people will have won. In a very short time, I will feel excruciating pain. This body will convulse, and I will cease to exist. Your people are long dead. Who lost or won a war so many years ago? It does not matter. It matters to me. Do not make me do this. You don't have to. Shoot him, or I release the gas and just hope it reaches the both of you. It's a tough spot. Daylight. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. He said this is not <laughs> this is not financial advice. Shoulder shot? Or shoot the camera? Maybe shoot the camera so she has no way to detect whether or not if he actually is dead. Forgive me, John. I've got it! I'm overriding her code now. Are you sure? It's done. Go. Taylor, this is Caldwell. Do not fire. I repeat, do not fire. Damn. Ugh. Nobody's in control now. She is long gone. All security teams, this is Caldwell. Resume your search. But so now the biggest threat is she's just going to off weir. You can't let her win. Oh, he's going to start. All right, he's lost. He's going do not release him no matter what happens. Oh, she's really speed running this one. Taylor. Is that really you? Stand away from him and up against the wall. He is unconscious. I said back off! Alright, the trust has been placed. Unconscious or not. I want to see his face. How do you know it was me? I still do not. Keep his hands bound until Dr. Beckett tells you otherwise. If you didn't know, why'd you give me the stunner? Because you would have shot her either way. Big brain moves. Good morning. Good morning. This guy playing on a DS? 
The entire time I was shouting to everyone, but nothing I wanted would come out of my mouth. It's a real nightmare, especially when you shot Ronan. Oh, God, but I wasn't... I know, I know. Did they believe you were... you? To be honest, I think the only people who believe 100% are Beckett. And me. In fact, I can safely say that I know how you feel. <laughs> yes, sir. Kay says you did a good job. Did he? Well, maybe there's still hope for me yet. I'm sure you'll both agree that the paperwork on this is going to be a nightmare. Yeah. Especially that kiss. Yes, sir. <laughs> One of our team members got shot and we almost killed everybody, but that kiss, oh boy, HR's gonna have a big problem with that one. <laughs> Holy smokes. Bruh, chill. And that was my reaction video to Stargate Atlantis season number two, episode number 16. And uh, this is another episode where our team members are compromised by another entity. And uh, this could have been avoided if we just saw those vessels and said, you know what? Not today. How often do we find something floating in space and it turns out to actually be useful or good? Usually not, not, right? So there was pathogen risks. There was consciousness transferring over risks. There was biohazardous risks. And turns out it was a consciousness transferring over. And it wasn't a love story. That was ridiculous. They were hostile enemies in a war. And I thought this was a fine, fun episode, honestly. Um, uh, so, uh, if anything, it just brings back the trust with, for everybody into Caldwell coming off of, you know, a few episodes ago. Teases the dynamic between Weir and John. And maybe this is like a test to see if they had the chemistry, if they want to indulge in that romantic relationship. I think we might see it. They've sort of been teasing it ever since Simon and, and Weir split. And it was also fun to see the act, uh, you know, Weir's actor having a, l a little bit more to do uh, and trying something completely different, right? It's always fun when actors are outside of their norm, right? So our boy Ronan might be out for a little bit now that he's got a bullet in him. Things like, it seems like he's gonna, you know, heal pretty quickly. Overall, I thought this was like a fine, fine episode of the show. Nothing really amazing. And I didn't think it was, you know, all that bad. I think it was like a nice, a nice middle ground episode, a little bit of a rehash of maybe what we've seen in the past pretty recently with McKay as he even joked about. Good in the sense that it was enjoyable, entertaining, reestablishes everybody's um, dynamic now with the hierarchy and with Caldwell. That was Atlantis season number two, episode number 16. What did you guys think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this week over to SG1. I think they, they think this is, I think SG1's episode was the better of the two. That was it for this one, guys. I hope you're doing well. I will see you all in the next one. Love you guys.